Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Chairman Latta. Welcome back to Chairwoman Rosenworcel and Commissioners Carr and Starks and Symington. There's a lot on the agenda today. Since the last time you were before this committee in March of 2022, the FCC spec Spectrum Auction Authority has expired for the first time ever. The FCC stood up its Space Bureau and the Office of International Affairs. Multiple versions of new broadband maps have been released. FCC Inspector General advisories have identified waste, fraud, and abuse in multi-billion dollar programs that were created to keep Americans connected during COVID. And a major merger under review that cleared the Department of Justice languished for more than 400 days at the FCC, a new record. This merger review was denied by FCC Bureau staff rather than considered at the full commission level. This is an unprecedented move by the commission. Your agency also plays a key role in managing our nation's airwaves, a vital task. In order for the U.S. to lead in the next generation technologies, the commercial industry must have access to spectrum. This committee has prioritized providing the FCC with the tools it needs to manage our nation's airwaves effectively. Unfortunately, a key tool used by the FCC, the authority to issue spectrum licenses, expired earlier this year for the first time ever. I've been working with my colleagues in the House for over a year and with colleagues in the Senate to extend this authority. Earlier this year, the committee unanimously passed H.R. 3565, the Spectrum Auction Reauthorization Act, to extend the FCC's auction authority for three years, fund the shortfall in the Rip and Replace program, and support our first responders through upgraded 911 networks. We're continuing to work on advancing this legislation out of the House, through the Senate, and onto the President's desk to sign. This committee is also prioritizing closing the digital divide, and the FCC has a key role to play in that effort. I'm pleased that the Commission has released two versions of the broadband maps since our last oversight hearing. These maps are significantly better than the previous FCC maps, and we need to make sure that the FCC gets this right in order to ensure every person can participate in today's economy. $42 billion has been allocated to this effort, and we must be able to trust that these maps are correct and that this money is going to unserved communities. This money cannot be wasted, which we're un unfortunately seeing in some of the other FCC programs. Since 2021, the FCC Inspector General has released two advisories warning of fraud in the Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP. Congress provided over $17 billion for this program to help low-income individuals afford broadband. This fraud undermines confidence in the program and the FCC's ability to administer it. This is especially concerning as Congress considers the future of ACP. The FCC also has been active in the media marketplace. In March 2022, Standard General announced its proposed acquisition of Tegna, which manages 64 television stations in 51 U.S. markets. The transition passed review unchallenged by the Department of Justice. Then, in an unprecedented manner, the FCC delegated the decision to the Media Bureau, which was directed to punt this decision to an administrative law judge. It takes the administrative law judge an average of 799 days to complete the hearing process. Delegating this decision to an administrative law judge hearing effectively kills this deal. You are all con confirmed by the Senate to take votes on these types of decisions. The chair's decision to delegate this matter to, matter to career officials is really of question today. This hearing, this oversight hearing of the commission reaffirms our commitment to ensuring agencies under the jurisdiction of this committee are held accountable, uses the resources allocated to them responsibly, and stays on mission. Chairwoman Rosenworcel, Commissioners Carr, Starks, and Symington, I thank you for being here, and I look forward to our discussion. I yield back. 